This is the video tutorial of site-to-site -site migration for SharePoint accounts using Kernel Migrator for SharePoint. In the search bar, type the name of Kernel Migrator for SharePoint, and click on it when its name appears. Once the software is opened, you can check various sections in the source pane. These are Windows File System, Sync Cloud Drives, Public Folders from Exchange, SharePoint both on-premises and online, OneDrive for Business, Google Drive from Workspace Accounts, and MS Teams. Similarly, in the destination pane, there is SharePoint on-premises, online, OneDrive for Business, Google Drive for Workspace Accounts, and finally MS Teams. To connect with SharePoint Sites, right-click to SharePoint Option the Source section, and click Add SharePoint Site. The Advanced Login Wizard will open in which you must start with inputting a meaningful project name. There are separate connection methods for a single site and multiple sites. The connection types are also different with two options, Basic and Modern Authentication. Our tutorial will cover basic authentication method for a single site migration. Type site address of the SharePoint account, complete user address with the email account, and finally its password. Click OK. A prompt message will ask you whether you want to connect the SharePoint server as destination 2. Click No and let the software connect with the server. Once the site gets connected, you can check that there is a project created with the details of the site in it. Now, let's go to destination section and right click to the SharePoint option. Choose, Add SharePoint Site and a similar login wizard will open. You must provide a unique project name different from the source project name. Later, you can go different site connection and a suitable connection site. We will go with basic authentication login method. Input the site address, then the complete username, and the password. Then, click OK. A new prompt message will appear where it will ask you whether you require to connect SharePoint as source. Click No and let the account connect with the server. The project will be created, and you can expand the folders to check the items of the site. The next stage will be creating the migration batch. Select the source project name, right-click on it and choose Copy option. Go to Destination Project, right-click and choose Paste. A new SharePoint to SharePoint migration become active where the source site is listed. You can check its details and click Next. The copy options are available with three options. First is to migrate SharePoint as a new active site or the collection then as migrate as an existing file, and finally as a new subsite of an existing site. As we have connected the destination site earlier, then we will choose the second option. Click Next. You can see that the destination site is already connected as we have created the destination project too. Click Next. There is a plethora of migration options where you can use the checkbox to select all the site features to migrate along with the data. There are look and feel options to manage the site's appearance too. Choose according to your suitability and click Next. In the second window, select the option for list and library for migration and click next. Next window is the filter page where you can apply all kinds of important filters on the source SharePoint site data. Some filters will activate only when you click on the checkbox and select some values. There are some crucial filters like date filter, file filter, and user filter. You can apply those on the SharePoint sites too. If you activate some filters and do not apply some value and click next, then a message will inform you that filter provided is empty. Please provide valid filter to upload. Click OK and complete the filter process. After that, click Next. In Next window, set the permissions to migrate along with all the data by clicking the checkboxes. You can also the users and groups using a separate feature. After applying those permissions, click Next. If you want to migrate the data at a convenient time, then you can choose the Schedule option and click on the Change Schedule option. There are all the date and time based options to select a detailed time. In our tutorial, we will migrate the batch immediately. Click Next. There will be a brief summary showing your site items that will migrate. Click Next and the migration will start. Wait till the migration completes. After the completion of migration, there will be a report showing status of each item. Finally, you can click Finish and check the migrated items at the destination SharePoint site. Find out more about the tool by clicking on the given link below. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.